An act of forgiveness. Leaders of a Rochester Hills mosque hit by vandals want to reach out to the person responsible, and it isn't to turn them over to police. That vandal hit the Amadea Community Center on Auburn Road near Crooks over the weekend. They smashed a window and it was all caught on security camera. As our Victor Williams reports tonight, mosque leaders are reaching out asking whoever did this to just come and talk about it. Talk about love and kindness overcoming hate. The damage has already been done here to the door of this mosque, but leaders of the building are saying it's not too late to repair the person who's responsible for doing this. We thought instead of talking about revenge and catching this guy, we need to bring him into our community so that he can become our friend. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community is extending an open invitation to the person who intentionally damaged one of the doors to the mosque in Rochester and is ultimately deciding to forgive them for the blatant disrespect to a place of worship. Surveillance video caught the man as he walked to the back of the building to deface the property Friday evening. He can talk to us. Uh, and see with his own eyes how peaceful and loving this community is all about. Um, our motto is actually love for all, hatred for none. So that's the message we wanted to communicate and uh, convey to him. Director of Outreach for the Mosque, Muhammad Ahmad, believes forgiveness is the right thing to do. At the end of the day, they just want to know the motivation behind the damage. So far, the community is starting to reach out with an outpouring of support. Our neighbors, they conveyed the well wishes to us and uh, um, uh, mentioned that they are sorry that it happened to our mosque. One woman has already come forward to write these messages of love on the sidewalk. Although she doesn't want any recognition, she says it was the right thing to do. I believe everything I wrote out there and that was just my way of showing love and unity to the mosque members. We are really moved by the messages of love, messages of support that kind of, you know, gives us strength as a community that we are not alone in this. And the mosque says that it will not be pressing any charges if and when this person comes forward. Victor Williams, Local 4. Victor, do police say anything about it being an isolated incident? Has this happened anywhere else? Well, they're saying that there was some type of vandalism at a pharmacy store nearby, but right now they could not connect the two. So at this point, there is no telling if they are related. Yeah. All right, Victor, thank you.